Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to jump feet first into this series and we're going to learn how to edit the size of all of the images that we choose. So this is a tutorial that's basically going to teach you the basics of editing the sizes for the images that you want to use for your fading images slideshow. So I'm hoping that everyone has the images that I have. I'm going to have them in the description for every single video that we have so that everyone can follow along with me. So I have these tigers, this lion, the cheetah, and the snow leopard. So the first image that we're going to be editing is going to be these tigers. So in order to put these images into Photoshop, all you do is click and drag into Photoshop. And once you have it in here, let's make this a little bigger so that we can really see the image. And in order to edit the image size, all you do is you come to image, image size, and you will see the dimensions for this image. So it's 500 pixels wide by 375 pixels high. Now this is the exact dimensions of what I want my fading images slideshow to be. This is what we are going to be making. We're going to make a fading images slideshow that's exactly 500 by 375. So this is perfect. We don't have to do anything else. So just click OK. Now the next one, these are going to get progressively harder, obviously. This is why I chose these images. So the next one is going to be this lion. So let's click and drag this lion into Photoshop. And as you can see, this is obviously bigger. So in order to edit the image size, do the same thing. Image, image size, and you will see 1024 by 768. So in order to edit this one, just type in 500 in the width, and you will see the height immediately change to 375. That's because the proportions of this image were the same as the last image, so we got kind of lucky. So all we do is click OK, and let's change the zoom to 100, and now we can see this one's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So now let's go to the next image, progressively more difficult, as I said, and you can see this image already looks a little bit longer than what we want, so there might be a little more editing with this. So again, click and drag it into Photoshop, and in order to edit this image, go image, image size, and change the width to 500. Now as you can see, the height immediately went to 327. Now we want it to be 375, so this would make it a lot, the height a lot shorter than what we actually want. So let's change the height to 375. And as you can see, the width is too much. But it's better to have the right uh, to have it too much in one of them than not enough in one of them. So let's change the height to 375 and let's keep the width too much. So let's make that okay. And now what we are going to do is we are going to crop this image. So an easy way to crop it to the exact size that you want, I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach you. Sorry, I can't talk today. Teach you a really cool trick. So let's go to the uh, marquee tool right here, the second icon. Click that and go to fixed size and make it the width, click in here, 500px tab and do 375px and click OK. Now in order to change this, you want to click somewhere where you have the majority of the image that you want. So let's try to get that cheetah's tail up to his head. Once you have it, then make sure um, you're not locked here. So double click this and click OK. Make sure it's not locked. And now we have the image that we want selected, so we want to delete everything else. So go select inverse so we select everything that we don't want and click delete and we just got rid of it so then click command and control D to deselect now come down to your crop tool and crop out just the image it'll snap to the image so it'll be really easy and double click so if you go to image image size 500 by 375 check that out so it didn't mess up the look of the image at all. We just cropped out what we didn't want, and now it's the perfect size. So the last image is going to be the snow leopard. So click and drag that snow leopard in, and go image, image size. And now let's try to change the width to 500. But as you can see again, 333, that's less than 375, and it's better to have more than not enough. So let's change the height to 375. And we have 563, so click OK. And let's make this unlocked, so double click, click OK, come to your marquee tool, and let's get within these ears to about the end of the image. So we can crop out all this. So let's click somewhere over here, make sure we get the ears in there. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So now we have what we, we want, so we want to go select, inverse, click delete, hit command and control D, crop tool, crop it out, snaps right there, 
double click and now we have four images that are exactly 500 by 375. So in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to make the template so that we can put all these images into the template and we can add a little caption to all these images. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope you stay tuned for this entire tutorial.